हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन लर्निंग टीचिंग प्रोसेस सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी नाइन्थ साइंस ए सिलेबस सो द सेकेंड चैप्टर ऑफ नाइन्थ साइंस ए दैट इज नेम ऑफ चैप्टर इज वर्क एंड एनर्जी सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द सेकेंड चैप्टर वर्क एंड एनर्जी सो सी हियर द सेकेंड चैप्टर of science a is work and energy so see the main points in this chapter so the important points are here work then uh, energy okay then see here mechanical energy law of conservation of energy and free fall so these are some uh, main points in this chapter so we have to study that points in detail in this chapter so the first point is work so see the work first so here a definition for work is given so let's uh, read the definition so work is said to be done so here is definition work is said to be done when a force applied on an object causes displacement of object so definition is work is said to be done when a force applied on an object causes displacement of the object <clears throat> so when we apply force on any object if there is displacement of object then it is said to be work and opposite to this if displacement does not takes place if we apply force even if displacement does not takes place then it is not said to be work so we can see example of this definition so see in above pictures four of uh, four pictures are given so in that picture so first picture a girl is uh, studying something or writing something in her notebook in second picture a boy is playing with a ball in third picture thus again second girl is watching tv and in last picture a man is carrying a bag so in four pictures if we see carefully then we can see in first picture there is no displacement of girl so there is no displacement of any object so here we can see in the first picture there is no displacement and therefore there is no work so here we can say here is no work in first picture in second picture a boy is playing with a ball so that ball displaces from one place to another and therefore here in second picture there is work done takes place in third picture again there is no any displacement while watching tv so here is no work and in last picture that man carrying a bag then Uh, from one place to another he is going to another place so there is displacement and therefore as displacement is there there is work also okay so this is definition for work that is when force is applied on any object and if there is displacement taking place then it is said to be work and if there is no displacement there is no work okay then see the next point that is a uh, formula for work so according to this definition this work has formula work is equal to force into displacement okay so you can write formula that is work is equal to force into displacement or in Uh, short shortly in the form say a simple form we can write w is equal to force that is f into displacement 
generally displacement is written by the symbol small s so force into displacement that is f into s so work has formula work is equal to force into displacement that is w is equal to f into s now see in this box here can i use your brain power so you have learned how to calculate work done on an object when displacement is in the direction of applied force but if the displacement is not in the direction of applied force how do we calculate the amount of work done now here one more important thing is that this formula for work that is work is equal to force into displacement we can calculate work done by using this formula when there is displacement takes place in the direction of applied force that is direction of applied force and displacement when both are in the same direction then we can use this formula that is work is equal to force into displacement but sometimes there is a change in the direction that is uh, direction of applied force and direction of displacement are slightly different then how to calculate work done or by which formula we can calculate work done so we have to see that formula when applied force and displacement are not in the same direction okay so for this uh, we have con we have to consider another some examples so here on the next page there are again some pictures so in first picture that girl is trying there is a wooden block uh, see in her hand at the a position and this girl trying to move this wooden block to the point b or towards point b so girl will apply force on the wooden block and try to move that wooden block to the uh, position b so here if we see the direction of applied force and the displacement of applied force so like this here is point a and here is point b then here is suppose that wooden block so we have to apply force in this direction okay in this direction we have to apply force on that wooden block and then displacement of this wooden block takes place and this wooden block comes to the position that is b so displacement also have the same direction okay uh, force and displacement both having the same direction then we can calculate work done is equal to w is equal to force into displacement so by this formula we can calculate work done force into displacement but see in the another two pictures picture b and picture c so in picture b a girl is carrying or uh, pulling a toy by using a string a string is tied to the toy and that girl is pulling that toy so in such in this picture so we can see if uh, the direction of force and the displacement or direction of displacement so see direction of force in this picture is in this direction force is in this direction that is along the string force is along the string now see displacement now displacement takes place in this direction okay so displacement takes place in a straight direction on the surface so there is slightly difference in the direction of force and direction of displacement so here a uh, angle is formed uh, we can draw separately here diagram so this is suppose direction of force and this is di here this is 
डायरेक्शन ऑफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट ओके दिस इज डायरेक्शन ऑफ फोर्स एंड दिस इज डायरेक्शन ऑफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट एंड सम एंगल इज फॉर्मड बिटवीन दिस ओके सो जनरली वी कॉल दिस एंगल एज ए थीटा सो एंगल थीटा इज फॉर्मड बिटवीन डायरेक्शन ऑफ फोर्स एंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट सेम कंडीशन इज इन द पिक्चर सी बिग और लार्ज व्हीकल इज देयर और लार्ज कार इज देयर एंड दैट लार्ज कार इज पुलिंग अ स्मॉलर वन बाय यूजिंग हियर दिस स्ट्रिंग इज देयर और अ रोप इज देयर एंड बाय यूजिंग दैट रोप अ लार्ज व्हीकल इज पुलिंग अ स्मॉलर वन here also the direction of force and direction of displacement are different here direction of force is like this in upward direction slightly and displacement is in straight direction so here also an angle is there so that angle is theta okay so this uh when direction of force and direction of displacement is not in the same direction or both are not same then how we have to calculate work done that we are going to study here and if direction of force and direction of displacement both are same then we can calculate work done by that formula that is here work is equal to force into displacement by using this formula work is equal to force into displacement by this formula now in this two condition b and c so there is a uh, different directions of force and displacement so in such condition here we can see uh, the formula for calculating work done okay so see when a child pulls a toy cart force is applied along direction of string while the cart is pulled along the horizontal surface okay we see direction of force is like this and direction of displacement is the, along the horizontal in this case in order to calculate amount of work done we have to convert applied force into force acting along the direction of displacement so here we have to convert that force into the applied force uh, convert into the force acting in the direction of displacement okay so see here diagram is drawn for this suppose this block is the toy here it is the toy and force is in this direction applied force and displacement is this direction okay so we have to convert this force that is f into f1 okay so see let f be the applied force and f1 be the its component in the direction of displacement so here this ef is applied force and ef1 is the component its component in the direction of displacement let us let es be the displacement the amount of work done is given by so see formula for work done so w is equal to ef1 into s now here we take ef1 because for according to definition so that force we have to take uh, in which the displacement is takes place in that direction so we are not taking here ef we are taking ef1 because displacement is taking in this direction okay so here we are using ef1 ef1 into s so the force ef is applied in the direction of string so f is applied in the direction of string that is at an angle with horizontal so this angle is theta so let theta be the angle 
that the string makes with horizontal we can determine the component f1 of this force f which acts in horizontal direction by means of trigonometry so see here in the diagram so here a right angle triangle is formed okay a right angle triangle is formed like this this is here this factor is f1 here is angle theta and this side is f1 and here is a 90 degree angle so it is a right angle triangle and here we have to use the some trigonometric functions so in geometry there is a chapter trigonometry so in that chapter uh, trigonometric functions are given so that trigonometric functions we have to use here so some trigonometric functions are there like this the first trigonometric function is sine so sine of angle then second trigonometric function is cos so sin theta and cos theta so this sin theta has formula sin theta is equal to the opposite side divided by hypotenuse sin theta is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse so here in this figure opposite side is this one suppose we give the names here point here is a b and c point then sin theta become sin theta is equal to opposite side upon hypotenuse so opposite side of this theta is a b and hypotenuse is a c so formula become a b upon a c and for cos theta there is formula adjacent side adjacent side upon hypotenuse so what will be formula adjacent side adjacent side for theta is bc and hypotenuse is ac so bc upon ac so we have to remember here formula for cos theta so cos theta is equal to adjacent side upon hypotenuse okay so here we are using these formulas cos theta so cos theta is equal to adjacent side upon hypotenuse so see here formula cos theta cos theta is equal to formula is given that is base upon hypotenuse or that base is nothing but the adjacent side uh, as compared to the angle theta so base upon hypotenuse so it is base base is f1 and upon hypotenuse hypotenuse is f so cos theta is equal to here f1 upon f that is adjacent side upon hypotenuse okay then we can write this formula f1 is equal to so transfer this f to the left side so f1 is equal to f into cos theta okay f1 is equal to f into cos theta so thus work done by f1 so here we get formula for f1 so we have formula w is equal to f1 into s and therefore formula become w is equal to what is f1 f1 is f cos theta here f cos theta and into s so into s so we can write this again f s into cos theta so this is formula for work done w is equal to f s cos theta ok so this is formula when direction of force and direction of displacement are different and when direction of force and direction of displacement are same then formula is W is equal to force into displacement. Okay. So thus we studied here formula for this. Formula for work done.
find direction of force is same and when direction of force is different then see next table is given so <coughs> angle is given cos theta value is given and formula for work done is given so see when angle theta is equal to zero that is suppose here this is angle theta so when angle theta is zero then there is no triangle so when theta is equal to zero we have only this line that is direction of force and direction of displacement both are same when angle theta is equal to zero so formula become uh, cos theta so cos zero value of cos zero is one and therefore w is equal to f cos theta cos theta is one so f s into one so w is equal to f s okay and conclusion so we can write conclusion here that is the displacement takes place in the <coughs> same direction conclusion then if angle is equal to 90 degree so this angle is 90 degree so here suppose this is the base and now the angle theta is 90 degree so here is angle theta that is this is applied force and this is displacement so in this case when theta is equal to 90 cos 90 is equal to 0 and therefore cos theta becomes 0 so fs into cos theta becomes 0 so w is equal to 0 so when applied force is uh, in the 90 degree with displacement displacement does not take place in actual practice okay when for force is in the 90 degree angle then displacement does not take place and therefore there is no work no work takes place so conclusion become no work takes place and when angle is 180 degree cos theta has value cos 180 has value minus 1 and therefore fs into minus 1 become minus fs so w is equal to minus fs so in this case we can see uh, the work done takes place is negative so there are three types of work done positive work done negative work done and zero work done so in this case negative work done takes place so we can write in the conclusion negative work done takes place that is force and dis uh, direction of force and direction of displacement are opposite to each other then it is negative work done okay so this is about the calculation of work done so important point here we studied that is when direction of force and direction of displacement are in the same direction then we have formula w is equal to force into displacement and when direction of both is not same then we can use formula that is w is equal to fs into cos theta okay so thus here we studied about the first point that is work done so we'll stop here in next lecture we will continue the next point thank you